Hello, I'm on the floor. All right, so I have purchased a wig of the cosplay variety. It cost me approximately $30. And it is not a lace front wig. However, for the character that I'm doing, I want a lace front because her hair is like pushed back and she has a widow's peak and I want that. I did not buy a lace front wig because those tend to cost upwards of $65 and I wasn't gonna pay that much money for a wig. However, this is not going to stop me from having a lace front because I'm going to do it myself because I like to make things difficult, I guess. So I'm going to, I've never done this before, I am going to take this wig and I'm going to cut it to length to a length that I is a little bit longer than what I need. And I'm going to use the leftover hair to make a lace front. And then I'm going to use the rest of the hair to make extra wefts so it has more volume in the back. I'm putting a lot of time into this wig. <laughs> Better come out good. This is she. I cannot remember if this is a Grace or a Matilda. I think one of those is a lace front and the other one is the non-lace front equivalent, basically. I cannot remember which, and I don't really care. So, uh, step one is gonna be straightening the ends, because I don't need them curled. Step two is gonna be cutting it to a bob, and, uh, step three is, uh, suffering, I think. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> She's beautiful. Fucking looks like some weird nerd. Oh. That's my recording setup. is on. It's very difficult to see on this because they're both so pale, but it's there. It lays nice and smooth, and now I have to 
learn how to ventilate it. Alright, I wanted to make a small sort of progress report. Um, it's difficult to see, but I've got a good chunk of it. I've been working on um, ventilating it for a good solid couple hours uh, for the past few days. It's slow going. But I wanted to um, sort of demonstrate the, uh, the process. So ventilating a lace front is usually done with a specific tool for this function. It's just called a ventilating needle. I do not have one of those because I didn't have one already and I wasn't going to buy one just for one wig. So what I'm using is a regular sewing needle. So uh, what you do is ideally your, um, your um, the hair that you're drawing from is twice the length of the wig because it gets folded in half. Mine is not that, but it's not really a problem in this case. So what you do, you take two or three strands, I'm gonna do two because that's just what I grabbed, you fold them in half. You literally can't see anything on the camera, but you know, sometimes you just don't get nice things. I use the needle to make a nice, like, tight loop, and then I uh, thread it part way through the needle. So it's just got kind of the uh, loop sticking out. And then what I've been doing is I've been using a pin to um, sort of keep the end looped end in place just you know so it doesn't so i can keep track of it it doesn't go everywhere it doesn't the hairs don't um come apart and then i have to deal with them separately it's, it just keeps them in line and so what you do is you thread that way through and then you make sure that um uh, the looped end stays on um on the side that you came through I, I don't bother pulling out the full um, length of it before I start threading it back through the loop because I'd find it just easier to manage if it's if the if the tail end of the hair is still like it's kind of pinned down loop it through um, and this is this is the point where I pull the full thing through and then you tighten it and that is it so what you're doing is Essentially all it is, and it's the same knot as if you were using a real ventilating needle, what you're doing is you're making a whole bunch of really tiny lark's head knots. And so that's the one where if, let's just take a ribbon and a uh, something. The lark's head knot is the one that um, is like this. You pull a thing through and you've got a looped end and then you're pulling the tail end through and pulling it tight. And so it's just a bunch of these. This whole thing is probably gonna take upwards of 10 hours of work, maybe. That's just my estimate for the pace that I'm going. All right, I wanted to do a close up so that you can actually sort of see what I'm doing. So I've got one leg of my tripod in my shirt and the other two are propping it up against my body so I can't move my torso hardly at all. So this is, we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, Cause I cannot do this with one hand. Okay, we're gonna take two or three, we're gonna take three cause that's what I grabbed. Um, three strands of hair. I'm doing this bit off camera cause I have to be able to actually see it. Three strands of hair. There we go. I use the, the needle to get a good tight loop. I would love a focused picture. I'm gonna thread it through again off camera because I love being able to see what I'm doing. So it's got, it's through the, the eye of the needle. I'm holding it there with my nail. I use the pin to sort of hold that in place. I'm gonna keep them like this. I'm gonna see if I can do this without Fucking up my uh, stick it through. I can't see very well and see if I'm like doing this right because I'm looking at it through the camera. But I think that's good. So pull it through, and then I have the end of it right here, and I stick it through that. Oh, geez. 
I'm at a real weird angle. Okay, and then I pull all this through, and it's little tiny Lark's head knot, and you can pull that back, and that's... You just do that uh, about a billion fucking times. Alright, the lace front is done. All that is left in terms of this area to, that I need to do is uh, just cut this all off. You can kind of, you can still see that there's like a bit of a, a shadow here. There's a, a bit of a line where the uh, actual hair of the wig starts. I personally am okay with that, especially because it's not like, terribly noticeable. Um, as far as the lace front goes, that... So, I'm done with the lace front. <laughs> so if you, if that's, if that's all you were watching the video for, congrats, you're done. Um, but I am going to, uh, record, uh, the rest of the styling of the wig, just because I feel like it. So, if you have any interest in any of that, you can keep watching. Yeah, so, uh, this is how you make wefts. You stick a bunch of hair to tape, and then you lay more tape on top of it, and then you sew down the middle a whole bunch of times. And, uh, I hate everything about it. I hate trying to stick loose goddamn hair to tape because it doesn't stay and I'm using duct tape because the masking tape didn't work. It's a failed weft. It's, it's, there's, uh, it's, I, there's hair everywhere. It's in the carpet, it's on me, it's probably on the cat. I'd fucking, I hate you. Yeah, so, uh, this would work great, in theory, uh, if it didn't suck. My thread fucking breaks, like, two and a half seconds after I start stitching, and it's- it's fucking loose-ass hair. It doesn't stick to anything, so, like, it, you know, it doesn't even, like, pretend like it's gonna try to stay even, like, so, in short, I'm, uh, Never doing this again. Alright, these are my wefts. I made three and decided that the next one was actually going to give me a stroke, so this is all I'm gonna put in. I was going to use... It's all the way over there. I was gonna use the rest of the hair, and that would have made four more for a total of seven, but, like, it's, it's not worth it. Don't ever do this. Don't ever fucking make wefts. There is literally nothing efficient about the process in any way, shape, or form. I, uh, I have been stuck on this. This wig has not been done for literal months because of these fuckers! Oh, yeah, zero out of ten. Don't ever do that. I, I, I've been procrastinating for so goddamn long. Don't ever make wefts. It's not worth it. Buy extensions from fucking Arda or Epic Cosplay or somewhere. Just, like, love yourself, please.
It's done. I spent way too much time just not working on this wig. <laughs> this is what she looks like. I know it looks kind of fucky, but like that's, it belongs back here. So like, like things are gonna be like manually adjusted every time I put it on. Um, I'm not gonna wear it right now because I don't feel like it. So uh, yeah, it's basically, it's just a real blunt bob that it's kind of stacked. It's a stacked bob. I'm happy with it. I, I ended up uh, sewing. Let me see if I can get it to show up. Um, this is a thread to keep most of the hair slicked back because um, the bulk of it is too heavy for hairspray. Some of the remainder is a little too heavy for hairspray too and it's really annoying. Um, but I'll, um, it'll be fine. So, uh, I lost 30 years of my life expectancy to this wig. So this whole cosplay better come out stunning. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's how you do it. God, this smells so much like God to be. Holy shit. Hi. <laughs> She's sleepy. Hi.